Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is my video where we look at what my plans are for game week three and how I'm managing to wreck my, my team already. Things aren't going great but I've got a plan and I'm going to try and stick to the plan. But before we do that let's see who did well in game week two. So top scorer in our mini league for game week two was Thomas Tunick with Tom, good name, with 112 points. That was with triple captain Harlan for 51. Sun for 16, Smithrow for 10, Robinson 7, and then 6 from Becker, Pedro Porro, Trent and Diego Jota. And nothing on the bench, so that was well played. Current leader is your Anani. I might be saying that wrong, with Yoan FC. Sorry, I forgot the name, completely rubbish there. They managed 109 points. That was with triple captain Harlan, 51. Luis Diaz, 14. Salah and Smithrow, 10. Pedro Porro Saliba, Diego Jota with six, and then nothing on the bench. As for me, as you may know if you've been watching me since game week one, I've got a plan which forced me to do moves I didn't really want to do. And there I am, I got 78 points. That was with Harland 34 as captain, Smithrow 10, Jota, Mitama, Robertson, Trent all got six, and then Robinson on my bench got seven. So a total of 78 points, game week ranked somewhere inside the top 3 million. So a red arrow, still inside the top half a million. So I'm currently 78 points from top. So if I can outscore the leader by 3 points a week with 36 game weeks left, then I can still win the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you very much to everyone who watches these videos. I do appreciate it. It's nice seeing the numbers go up. So on the FPL Game Week website, you can look at the Content Creators League and looking at the team value at the beginning of Game Week 2, I was joint top with 100.3. There was three of us with 100.3 million team value. There are actually three people on 99.9, .9, which I think is not good. Personally, I would rather take a minus four at the beginning of the season than lose value in a player unless I was certain I wanted to keep him long term. But if he was a player that I might want to move on anyway... I would absolutely take a hit rather than lose team value because I think money is so important, especially early on. So uh, looking at the content creators in general, I was 100.3 and the average was 100.1. But I'm hoping over the next few game weeks, that's going to grow quite a difference. Today's Thursday and at the moment my team value is 100.6. Hopefully it'll be higher than that come the deadline, which I think is Saturday. Back to FPL Game Week, the Content Creators League in general. Adam from Above Average, he's top with 183. I met him at the Fest on Friday for Game Week 1. He's a funny character. He was sticking Above Average stickers on everyone and everything. And I think there's one in the urinals, one on a dog walking by, an old woman, a lamp stick, anything, anything. If it had a surface, he was sticking a sticker on it. And then James, he's in fifth at the moment from Planet FPL. He's great. If you get a chance to listen to any Planet FPL stuff, he's spot on with what he talks about. I'm currently down in 13th. I use my wildcard, as you could see, which is two points above Harry and Az. As I'll show you later, I've already taken an eight-point hit, so I should be falling quite rapidly in the standings. See where I am next week. So here's my eight-point hit I was talking about. So it looked like Havertz might be going down in value. So this is on, I think, the Sunday. He was on a red arrow for going down. And I can't afford to lose value of anyone. So I swapped him for Pedro Porro. It looked like he was going to be going up. And then Jota looked like he was going up. But I needed to release some cash so that I could get in Palmer, who almost certainly will go up. Nobody at the moment of those four have yet moved in value. Eze, because he's not done anything for two weeks... Looks like he's going to go down in value. He's not gone down yet, but he probably will by the weekend. So I had to offload him. So I got in Medawake, who I got at 6.4. He's now 6.5, so he has gone up 0.1 in value. So I've made these moves because I'm chasing value. And I'm going to keep on doing this silliness till game week six. That's the last game week where I'm going to be silly like this. But after that, I hope to be richer than everyone else and then gradually catch them up. So my team as it stands at the moment, I have Haaland. I'm almost certainly going to give him the old mule hat. He's away to West Ham with his mates Gvardiol and Edison. And then Palmer's going to be vice-captain at home to Paris with his mate Medi UK. 
And then Robinson away to Ipswich with his mate Smithrow and Munez. Then away to United, I've got Robertson and Trent. And then finally midfield, I've got Bailey away to Leicester. Now, I bought Bailey on my wild card because I think he's attacking. He's got a good chance of getting returns. And there's so much pressure online in the community to get Rodgers. Rodgers is really good. He's only 5 million. He's now 5.1 million. And I was like, but surely Bailey's better. So I put a poll out on X, formerly Twitter. If they are the same price, we'd rather have Bailey or Rodgers. And Bailey won it. So uh, although I was tempted to swap Bailey for Rodgers because Bailey might be going down in value, which is crazy, I've managed to keep hold of Bailey. I kind of think if he goes down in value, it may be Saturday, by which time if I want to move him on, I can. I need to decide. So if you've got Rodgers, that's great. He may outscore Bailey, but I think Bailey's a good choice. And then on my bench, I've got Pope at home to Spurs. A remote chance I'll play him instead of Edison, but probably won't. And then I've got two Brighton attackers in Pedro Porro and Mitama. Now, the reason I've got them on my bench is I have no Arsenal defenders. And most people have somebody from Arsenal at the back. So if Arsenal keep a clean sheet, that's points against me. So by putting them on my bench, if they score, that means all these people have Arsenal people at the back, they're not going to get the clean sheets. So I would rather Pedro Porro and Mitterman get good scores and the Arsenal boys don't, than these do nothing on my bench and all these Arsenal defender folk get returns. Hope that made sense. And then I got Bednarek as well, away to Brentford. As for the background picture, my wife's got a Citroen. It looks like the transmission's failed today. And if it really has, then that's probably going to write the car off because these things are very expensive to fix. So if you see a Citroen with an old mule hat on by a football, maybe that's my wife's car. And there we have it. That's what happened in game week two and my plans for game week three. I'm hoping my plan is by game week six to be no lower than 6.4 million rank. And after that, I'm hoping to have considerably more value than anyone else and then gradually work up the ranks. That's the goal. Whether or not it's going to work, I got no idea, but it's kind of fun finding out, I think. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>